So today we're just going to work some more with proofs and expanding what we are able to prove. So our first proof we're going to do is a triangle inequality proof. So given that the measure of angle ABD, ABD right here, is greater than the measure of angle DBC, so this is greater than this, prove that AD is greater than BD. Okay, so first we're going to write down our given information. And that is given to us. Okay. So what we're trying to do is get this to be greater than this. So you want to think back a little bit and remember the deal with triangle inequality. If we can prove that the measure that the measure of the angle opposite this so this angle right here is greater than the angle opposite this then this the first side is greater than the second side so that's what we're going to try and do so for our next step we're going to we can say that dbc so this little this smaller angle right here is greater than dab which is right here. Er, sorry, not D A. Yeah, D C, D B C is greater than this angle right here because if you remember that property that says this angle is equal to the sum of this angle and this angle. Well, there's another little theorem. that says the exterior angles are greater than either remote interior angle which is these which are these two angles right here so then we can say look See how this is greater than this, and this is greater than this? Well, if the measure of angle ABD is greater than the measure of DBC, doesn't that mean it's also greater than DAB? Because it's greater than DBC, which is greater than DAB. So we're going to use our transitive property to say that the measure of angle ABD is greater than the measure of angle DAB. And all we're doing is we're sliding this onto the end. It's greater than that, which is greater than that. And that's transitive property. Where if A equals B and B equals C, A equals C. Okay, now we have one last step. So remember how I said that the bigger side is opposite the bigger angle? Well, since we know that this angle right here is bigger than DAB, that means that the angle the side opposite B, which is AD, is greater than the side opposite A, which is DB. So therefore, AD is greater than BD if a triangle in, let's say, in a triangle, if two angles are not congruent, not congruent, then the bigger side lies across the bigger 
angle. And we're done. You always want your last statement to match the proved statement you're given in the problem. Okay. Given BO is congruent Given BO is congruent to HN and OH is congruent to NBN, prove that this angle O is congruent to this angle N. Okay, so we're going to write our given first. BO is congruent to HN and OH is congruent to BN given. Okay, now if we want to be able to say that this is congruent, there's something we can do. If we prove that the triangles are congruent first, we can then say that their corresponding parts are congruent. So, so far we have one angle or one side is equal to one side, two sides is equal to two sides, and then they share this side right here, BH. So we can say that BH is congruent to BH, reflexive property, and then we can say that these, triangle con these triangles are congruent by side, 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 because we have three pairs of congruent sides. So triangle BOH is congruent to triangle HNB by side, side, side. And then we can say that angle O is congruent to angle N because, you remember, when we have congruent triangles, their corresponding parts are also congruent. So, if two congruent triangles corresponding parts are also congruent. And that's all we have to do for that one. So that's all we're going to do with proofs today. But um, in our next lesson, we're going to do some, some new kind of proofs.